All right, chaps. Guys and dolls, boys and girls. Um, home brewing, all grain. Um, it's quite handy to have um, a grain mill. You can store your grains for longer. I don't have one. I have to buy crushed grains. And when you're buying in 25 kilo sacks and you're not going to use it all up. I mean, I've got about 8 kilograms of Marisotta sat outside. I've had it nearly a month. I'm not keen on just sitting the stuff there. So, I'd like to buy whole grains and crack them myself. Um, grain mills on the from the homebrew shops are particularly expensive. From eBay are quite considerable. I mean, the cheapest I can find is in the region of 40 quid. And uh, they're in the US, so you've got to get them shipped across to the UK, which is another 20. And if you buy in the UK, you're talking around £60 plus. So either way, you're going to be paying ch at the very cheapest 60 quid plus for a grain mill, uh, which I'm not prepared to do because they're very simple mechanisms. So I've decided, having seen this little fella in. Um, a shop in the UK called Home Bargains for £10 we have a pasta maker now I've seen these videos on YouTube a couple of times and what I'm intending to do is use the pasta maker and sort of get rid of this section here which is the cutter for different types like tagliatelle and spaghetti and just use this section here to crush my grains it has two rollers and I'm going to power it via a drill so just before well I'm not going to be doing anything spectacular tonight so let's just unbox this and uh, have a look what we've got there we go I'll just pop it here there you go I'm sure you can see that nicely so we have some instructions not going to need them. Packaging. A clamp for clamping it to your work surface. Probably not going to need that either. I'll just pop that there. Probably not going to need that. And if this is what I think it is, we're not going to need this either. So this is the um, the cutter. It's, you can see it's got a cutter in there for looks like tagliatelle. That one looks like the spaghetti cutter. It's much finer. These aren't the same size rollers as what we have on the main pasta machine. So that is going to be no good for this particular job. But it was only 10 quid, so I don't mind. I'll, I'll probably use those bits for something else. More packaging. A handle. And the machine itself. So I'll just get rid of the box and we'll go through the machine. So, this side. Here, you can see this is where the... Um, the cutter would slot on, just on there. I mean, we're not going to be using that, so like I say, that's surplus to requirements. This bit here is um, a controller for the width between your rollers. So if I just tilt it up and rotate this, let's get the sheen off, you should be able to just make that out you can see the rollers getting wider and closer so that's very handy little setting exactly what we're looking for and then on this side we've got a little knob fitting where the handle slots in and you can rotate now that's great exactly what we're looking for what I'll probably do is either straighten this handle out in the vise 
and cut the end off so I can attach it to a drill fail that I'll just cut it just here and we'll just have that little stub you know that's enough to go into the chuck on my drill um, and the fitting I mean you can get some cheapo screwdrivers with that type of fitting if I just put the camera onto a macro set in there put my hand you can see what it is you know so I'm sure I could knock something up to go into there and into a chuck that's no problem now there is one thing I've noticed on this machine um, and that's the fact that the rollers are smooth now I've put a bit of uh, grain in there today I have some whole chocolate mould and it wants to be on a setting you know about number three on this particular one just gives you enough gap to just crack the grain without completely demolishing it because remember we only want to break the husk into two but it just sits on the rollers because they're so smooth so what I'm going to do this screw out here that comes out then there are some uh, bolts in there I'm going to pull the bolts out and I'm going to whiz these out and I'm going to stand them up well I'm going to clamp them in the vise and I'm going to run the angle grinder down there and just put some sort of grooves lengthways on the rollers no point doing it that way because you know the the grain will sit in the groove I want that groove to be a, something to drag the grain in so I'm just going to run down there probably do about 15 20 all the way around each roller if it needs to be done on each roller and then put them back in so hopefully that will drag the grain in obviously I'll film this on another video um, and the bottom section as you can see all the grain is just going to fall onto here so I've got two options I suppose but what I think I'm probably going to do is just get my grinder and I'm going to cut this section out I could remove the feet and remount it that's an option I'll take it off and have a look at that see if it's something I can do if not I'll just grind the middle of this out we'll see but yeah basically that's just gonna have to sit atop a bucket power drill one end build a hopper for the top and uh, hopefully we'll have, we'll have a fully functioning grain mill so that's my plan that's another video we can pop up um, show you guys how to get on how I get on you know see if it works hopefully it'll be, it'll be pretty good Worthington's white shield still green but good so yeah I'll see you on that next video then chaps and uh, We'll make a start on it, I guess.